All right, the wait is finally over. One UI 7.0 has arrived for the Samsung Galaxy S24 series, and it's bringing a ton of exciting new features. Trust me, you're going to want to stick around for all the juicy details. Picture this, you just updated your phone and bam, you're greeted with the shiny new welcome to One UI 7.0 screen, but that's just the beginning. Now before we dive into it, hey, it's Sam here. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like button, share the video, and subscribe for more awesome updates. Let's get into it. First things first, One UI 7.0 is all about smoothness and personalization. When you tap start, you're instantly welcomed into the world of Galaxy AA, complete with the latest updates. And if you've ever wished navigating your phone could be a little more intuitive, well, here you go. Swipe seamlessly between notifications and quick toggles like never before. It's like the interface just flows under your fingers. But hold on, the real magic happens when you dive into those quick toggles. You can now customize them however you like, add, remove, or rearrange the ones you use most. And here's a fun little surprise. You can control Dolby Atmos and adaptive brightness straight from the toggles. How cool is that? The now bar on the S24 is a total game changer too. Imagine being able to flick between multiple items or even control your music from the lock screen with a much bigger, easier to use music controller. And that's not all. Your widget's got a major upgrade, rounded corners, more layout options, and even a new vertical app drawer that neatly sorts your apps alphabetically. Oh, and connecting to nearby devices like your Galaxy Buds or Galaxy Watch just got a whole lot easier with the new nearby devices feature. But wait, before you think this is just another update, there's more. The camera interface has been redesigned with a whole bunch of new features for those who like to get pro level with their photos. A new grid in the viewfinder, log recording format for pros, and more customization options for the camera modes. Plus, a shiny new AI select feature that lets you do things like change wallpapers or generate GFs straight from the screen selections. And don't get me started on the revamped side button functionality. You can now launch apps with a double press or activate Gemini with a long press. Super handy. Now, before you hit the update button, there are a couple of things you should know. If you've been using your phone for a while and haven't done a factory reset, it might be worth backing up your data and resetting your device. It'll improve battery life and overall performance. But if your phone's still running smooth, you can skip that step. Speaking of cool new features, let's talk about the gallery app. You've got something called Gallery Labs now, where hidden features await. Want easier one-handed access to your search bar? Done. Or maybe you'd like to open images in a split-screen view to scroll and edit them at the same time. Yep, that's possible too. And there's more. If you ever need to free up storage space, you can now archive apps. All the app data gets removed, but your login credentials and app icons stay intact. It's a simple way to clear up some space without losing your favorite apps. Now let's address the elephant in the room. The Air Zone is no longer directly in the camera, but don't panic. You can still get all the cool AR features like Avatar Camera and Avatar Stickers by downloading them separately from the Galaxy Store. Oh, and the app icons for AR do built in quick measure. They've been redesigned for a sleeker look. But hold on, there's still a lot to cover. One UI 7 also introduces a new feature to protect your battery. Adjust the maximum charge percentage to extend its lifespan. And if you're worried about security, there's now a setting that blocks USB connections when your phone's locked for over an hour. Safety first, right? Lastly, don't forget to update your apps in the Galaxy Store and Google Play Store, including any system apps. There's also a new module in the Good Lock app called Home Loop, letting you customize animations, folders, and the edge panel. Phew, that was a lot, wasn't it? But trust me, One UI 7 is packed with goodies that are sure to take your Galaxy experience to the next level. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and check for that update. And remember, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.